Seth Rollins is so himself back at it again with another sneaky review. This time around on the Air Jordan 1 dash Nike SB NYC to Paris. Uh, this is one of those shoes I believe is a big sleeper. Uh, definitely because it's a one of a kind shoe. Definitely reminds me of the first uh, Air Jordan 1 Nike SBs. I believe it's like white and black. Uh, reminds me of the breads and the Royals, which is really creative, really cool. Uh, idea they even did back then, and I'm actually glad they actually was able to redo this release. But this time around, this is mixed between that and uh, I believe so the uh, Nike Air Jordan One Dash Unions, which is a great collab. So you could definitely see some hits around here of uh, resembles that shoe, which is pretty cool. Uh, we will be getting the LA uh, during the week, and I'll give you guys a review as well. But uh, let's start with this here. This is more of a more of a gray upper with a darker gray around here, like a more of like a lighter gray actually, even around here and a Nike black Nike switch, uh, black Jordan symbol up here, uh, black tongue in the middle as well. You see the, up here the Nike SB, it is pink. Uh, the bottom soles are pretty much like a light bone. That's what I'm pretty pretty sure where they get the name from. You look at the insoles. Uh, let me see, I get a better look here. It is actually pink. So it reminds me of the Air Jordan 1 uh, Crimson Tint. So it's pretty much the same color inside uh, and the other side as well. But pretty cool about this, what I mean, it reminds me of the Union 1. So if you could look inside, like around the station, almost it has a different color, different tone, which is pretty cool. And that does spread around the entire shoe there. You guys can get a closer look. At that, also as well, cool thing about this, since I rem reminds me of the Air Jordan 1 that came out a few years ago, the Nike SB, uh, you could definitely uh, wipe down this color, and it turns to a different color. I believe it's uh, pink with uh, more of a darker pink up here. The Nike Switch is re resembled the Nike uh, Paris team. Uh, definitely a cool design to have all around. Uh, definitely this is something I, I've doubled up on. I uh, have one just keep like this. Other one will be something that you would definitely customize or whatever you like to do. Wear them. Uh, definitely, the more you wear this, the more better it looks. I believe so. Uh, I wouldn't mind the fact that this looks like uh, the Brooklyn Next colorway, which is NYC. I'm surprised they picked that. But uh, all around, it's pretty cool. You can definitely tell a little bit here when it starts peeling off. Uh, that dot right there. So you could tell this is really easy to peel off. So I guess during time, once you wear it the first day or something like that, I believe a lot of this was was start uh, coming off all around. But uh, definitely is a nice pickup to have. Ni definitely nice to have in the collection. They do provide you three different shoelaces. Let me take, to, take this out right there. Uh, they do have a light gray uh, shoelace, pink, well, more like a peach colorway. And a pink one here. I believe the best one that fits it will be this here, or just keep them black. I've seen them with the, uh, this peach color on, and does match the shoes to the teeth. I believe that would be the best uh, to put on there. Uh, also, you guys to know, you do get the regular Nike uh, box, regular Jordan box. You get you guys can tell there, but the paper is different. It's more like a wooden pattern all around, and does have that little symbol on the side. If you do not have that, or have the second paper inside, you might be and might be getting a fake pair. So just keep an uh, eye out for that, just in case, you guys. Also, as well, the MSRP of this sneaker here, the Air Jordan One, have gone up uh, to believe to one seventy-five. It's no longer one sixty or one seventy. This is <laughs> 